Hello and welcome back to Professional Tutors, the British Online School. We are a unique team of qualified and dedicated teachers here to help our students to reach their full potential. So in today's lesson, we will look at how to calculate the shape of ions. Um, the shape of the complex ions, we have seen how to calculate and how to find out and how to draw uh, the shape of simple uh, molecules or compounds. Um, now we'll look at in this lesson how to calculate and how to draw the shape of um, simple or just simply ions. Um, the process uh, will remain more or less the same. So you calculate the number of electrons in the outer shell of the central species or central atom first. Pairing up electrons, uh, make sure the outer shell maximum is not exceeded. Then, as we did um, in the previous lesson, calculate the number of bond pairs and lone pairs and using the electron pair repulsion theory to calculate the shape and the bond angle or angles. It's important to know the number of electrons in the outer shell depends on the charge on the ion. If the ion is positive, you remove as many electrons as there are positive charges. We will look at the examples in the coming slides. If the ion is negative, you should add as many electrons as there are negative charges. Again, we're going to look at lots of examples on these. Now, there are two examples here. One, if, if this is a PF6, a negative molecule, so there's negative charge here, so simply add one electron to the outer shell of phosphorus. Now, in this example here, this is PCL4 positive. There's one positive charge on the on this molecule to so simply remove one electron from uh, the outer shell of phosphorus again we're going to look at lots of examples um, on these and you should be fine at the end of this lesson let's have a look at this example here so draw the outer shell electron of the central atom first in this case it's nitrogen now, these are two examples we're going to discuss now. One is NH4 positive, and second is NH2 negative. And we know that from previous slide that if the charge is positive, you simply remove an electron from, from the outer shell. So if you look at this one, there are five electrons in the outer shell. The charge is positive, you remove one electron and you're left with four electrons in the outer shell and the charge on the ion is positive. We know if the charge on the ion is negative, you simply add an extra electron. So this one has got uh, six electrons in the outer shell. Next, pair up electrons, the way we did um, when we did simple molecules. In this case, there are four hydrogen atoms and the four electrons in the outer shell. So each hydrogen is bonded. So the electron, so for every single bond, one electron comes from hydrogen and one electron comes from nitrogen. That's your NH4 positive and that's your NH2 negative. Next step, again, remain the same. Work out the shape, the bond angle, from the number of bond pairs and lone pairs. So in this case, one, two, three, and four. There are four bond pairs, and all the electrons are involved in a, in a covalent bond, so there's no lone pair there at all. And we know that from the previous lesson, when there are four bond pairs, the shape is going to be tetrahedral, and the bond angle is going to be 109.5 degrees. If we look at this, in this case, uh, there'll be two bond pairs here and there'll be two lone pairs here. The two bond pairs 
too long past and we know we don't show uh, the long pairs in the shape so shape is going to be bent or v shape or angular shape and the bond angle is going to be 104.5 degrees so a quick review of what we did last lesson and what we just did now so last lesson we did the shape of ammonia no charge on the molecule so that was simply pyramidal so it's got three bond pairs here and one lone pair so three plus one is four pairs there and the shape was tetrahedral but because we don't know because we don't show um, the lone pair on the shape so we end up uh, the shape uh, which is going to be pyramidal uh, which is distorted tetrahedral uh, then we just did the shape of ammonium and h4 positive and we know that if there's a positive charge you simply remove an electron from the outer shell count the number of bond pairs and lone pairs and accordingly assign the molecule a shape in this case it was tetrahedral and the bond angle is 109.5 in this case negative uh, negative charge on the ion simply add an extra electron so in this case you've got two bond pairs here and two lone pairs that is what we just discussed and the shape is going to be angular or v shape or bent shape so in this example just let's discuss what happens when the molecule they have double bond or triple bond um, so in this example we're looking at carbon dioxide gas uh, if you look at there are four shell uh, four electrons in the outer shell of the carbon atom because that is um, in group four in the periodic table and oxygen is in group six it's got six electrons in the outer shell so the carbon needs four electrons to complete its um, um, outer shell so carbon wants eight electrons in the outer shell it needs to share four it needs four more basically and oxygen it needs two electrons to have eight electrons in the outer shell so the way they're going to combine together the carbon will combine with two oxygen atoms on each side so carbon is sharing two electrons with this oxygen and two electrons with this oxygen here now we know that one covalent bond is made out of two electrons so one bond is made out of two electrons now there are four electrons here that means there'll be two bonds here and two bonds here that means double bond on this side and double bond on this side as well so double bond pairs um, two bonds so two bonds here and two bonds here so carbon dioxide gas has um, a double bond so carbon is having a double bond with this oxygen as well as this oxygen now because there's only one central atom and two atoms attached to that so again it's going to be linear shape and we know when the shape is linear the bond angle is 180 degrees guys just have a look at these examples uh, they don't normally ask SO42 negative in the exam so don't worry about that um, but simply uh, it's the same process uh, four bond pairs zero lone, uh, lone pairs shape is going to be tetrahedral uh, these shapes they're quite of like bit of um, uncommon here it's got T shape and here it's got an umbrella shape don't worry about that they're not going to ask that in exam at all um, but uh, for knowledge's sake we know when it comes to finding the shape of the ions the process will exactly remain the same as we find out um, the shape of any simple molecule without any charge on that right guys there are some questions for you to try now um, if you can calculate the shape and draw the shape so when i say calculate the shape that means you have to calculate the number of electrons involved in bond pairs and lone pairs so you find out how many bond, bond pairs are there how many lone pairs are there and then uh, draw the shape for these molecules um, you can pause the screen take your time and then we're going to discuss the answers in a minute.
So let's have a look at the answers of these questions here. Um, for BF3, there were three bond pairs, zero lone pair, and the bond angle is going to be 120 degrees, and the shape is going to be trigonal planar. And the explanation for that, the boron is in group three, it's got three electrons in the outer shell, and all of them are involved in the covalent bond. Um, so that's the explanation there. So SICL4, uh, four bond pairs, and that's going to be tetrahedral. Bond angle is going to be 109.5, and there'll be no lone pairs at all. BCL4 positive. Uh, when, well, these are important examples. Whenever we got um, an ion, if the charge is positive, make sure you remove an electron in the outer shell and then pair up. So in this case, there'll be four bond pairs, no lone pairs, and that's going to be tetrahedral. Bond angle is going to be 109.5 degrees. PCL6, again, it's an ion. Because it's a negative ion, so add one electron to the five in the outer shell and then pair up. It's going to be six bond pairs and, and the shape is going to be octahedral, uh, no lone pairs, and the bond angle um, is going to be 90 degrees. SICL62 negative is very important to look at the charge. In this case, it's two negative. That means we have to add two electrons to the outer shell and then pair up. So in this case, there'll be six bond pairs, zero lone pairs. The bond angles are going to be 90 degrees. And again, the shape is going to be octahedral. That's an important one here. So first thing you have to spot is which, which is going to be the central species or central atom. So looks like that hydrogen is a central atom, but it's not. It's the sulfur which is going to be the central atom in this case. So remember, there's always one central atom. So one sulfur here, one silicon, one phosphorus, one phosphorus, one silicon, and one boron. So normally, generally, or for you guys in A-levels, always um, there'll be one central atom and there'll be more than one uh, bonded atom. So in this case, the central atom is going to be sulfur and two hydrogens are bonded to sulfur. Now, another way of getting the shape or kind of guessing your answer is look at the group number. The sulfur is in the same group as oxygen. Now, if you replace that sulfur with oxygen, that is going to become H2O, water. And from the last lesson, we know the shape of water is going to be angular or bent or V shape. And uh, it's got two bond pairs and two lone pairs. That's, that's another way of guessing your shape as well. Because all um, the compounds, if you're looking at going down the group, the number of electrons in the outer shell remain the same. So if the same number of atoms or same type of atoms are bonded to the central atom, the shape of all of them in the entire group are going to be the same. Thanks for watching. If you find the information useful, please subscribe, share, and like the video.